everyone. I am Melissa Morrow coming to you from sunny St. Augustine, Florida, and I am with Watson Realty Corp and Rave Reviews Home Staging. And today I want to talk about model home staging versus staged models. And I get asked about this all the time from local builders and real estate agents that represent builders, and I'd kind of like to clarify some of the key differences. A model home is typically done by an interior designer, and they are representing a viewpoint of an aesthetic that uh, they want to represent in the model. Everything in the model is typically done on a storyboard, and then it is custom ordered once the storyboard is approved. And unfortunately, this is where the demographics comes in view, is that they are typically trying to appeal specifically to something that's trending, an ideal aesthetic. This is a chance for them to kind of show their, their fun design side, but they're not always looking at who the demographic of who's actually buying the property are. And this is where a staged home or a staged model comes into play versus the model home. A staged model is actually done by a professional home stager who understands and studies the demographics of the likely buyer of the home. And rather than spending a lot of money on custom line items like draperies or custom upholstery fabric, we're typically purchasing off the shelf or creating out of the box ideas that are going to keep costs lower and still appeal to the demographic. This means we're not spending a lot of energy or effort on custom wall treatments like wallpaper or uh, faux finishes, and we're not spending a lot of money on line items like draperies. We believe that you can get beautiful draperies right off the rack. They don't have to be custom to match the sofa. Uh, this is where model home uh, designers typically spend a lot of money. Now, uh, again, I talked about demographics. So we are, we are out to appeal specifically whether it is an over 55 community, which we see a lot of here in Florida, or a first time home buyer. Uh, recently, I was touring a property with some other agents, and it was a model in our area, and uh, it, was a, it was a four bedroom home in the low 200s in a well uh, acclaimed school district. And I was asking the other agents who they thought the buyer would be for this property, and all of them said that they thought that it would be someone over 55. And I was puzzled by this because I knew from the demographics as being a professional home stager and understanding the school district, because I live in it, uh, why they thought that. And when I started pulling more information out of them, what I found was that they all thought that it was an over 55 community because of the way that the model was staged. And you can imagine if this is the way the agents are feeling, this is probably the way that the home buyers are feeling. So it is important to understand that the, uh, the designer who's creating a model home isn't always thinking about the home buyer. Sometimes they're trying to appeal specifically to the builder who may actually match the demographic of what they're creating the aesthetic for, so that they'll sell it to the builder. But what we need to do is focus on who's buying the property. And when we can focus on who's buying the property, we're going to spend a lot less money when we buy off the rack, and we're also going to sell a lot more properties, and we're going to do it more quickly. Remember, part of the battle is getting them in the door, and in the door we do that through photography, um, which shows on MLS and other sources, and then the other part is making them fall in love when they're there. So I hope this has been helpful to you, and please be sure to check us out at melissamorrow.com where you can read my blogs, or if you are looking for properties in the St. Augustine, St. John's, or Jacksonville area, please check out Stage List Sell Northeast Florida. That's nefl.com. Thanks, and I'll see you again soon.